Okay, well, I can't see myself now, so. Anyway. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, who I am, because there's a lot of confusion. Um, actually, there's nothing but confusion, because absolutely nobody knows who I am, so. I wanted to set the record straight. Um, I hope the audio is okay. I'm, I'm going to try and project as much as I can, but it's 4 o'clock in the fucking morning, and, and uh, you know. I'm gonna keep me wrapped in a blanket and cold on a couch talking to nobody that gives a shit. So, sorry, no offense, but nobody gives a shit. So, anyway. Um, anyway, who am I? Um, the, the, who am I is, is not a valid question. Um, implies something that I'm not, and, uh, that's the biggest source of confusion. Um, I'm not uh, what you are. I'm not uh, what you are. Uh, what I am is a human being. Um, human beings are a freak occurrence that um, happened in um, uh, circumstances, and out of those circumstances, we developed on our own um, and managed to learn how to adapt to our situation and utilize our resources around us to survive. And um, that's what I am. I, I'm a freak accident. I uh, was born out of a um, uh, coupling of what they call, uh, the result of which is what they call hybrid vigor. Um, the, my father's side of the family are extant. Um, Scandinavian Vikings um, from the Brittany Peninsula of France who inbred moved over to the North American continent inter interbred with uh, some other uh, people I don't know um, and uh, and then interbred with or, and then uh, my mother's side are pure Viking um, and the, the two mixing together created hybrid vigor um, can't say for sure that I am, uh, oh wow, I, I just, sorry, my understanding of myself just significantly changed, because I assumed that my brothers had the same father as I do, and now I cannot make that assumption, so the, um, likelihood now is that the genetic mixing of my inbred father's line with my mother's line um, is what caused this hybrid vigor that left me with this um, high, high, extremely high degree of empathy and uh, intelligence relative to my siblings and the rest of my family. I'm, I'm the only one like myself. So I am the only one like myself in my family and a freak occurrence because I'm a freak occurrence. And just like human beings are, the, the uh, prevailing theory which I happen to believe is that humans are the result of, or the theory which I happen to ascribe to is that humans are the result of intermixing of primates and pigs. Um, that's why we have this big forebrain. It's not natural. It didn't evolve. It's actually a genetic, uh, my, my understanding, um, our modification of this theory, I guess you'd say, is that um, we um, have a larger brain than we would have evolved because of hybrid, um, because of uh, genetic combination, um, the addition of genes. Um, so the extra brain material is literally extra. So it's pig on top of, not pig combined with. Um, Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, so like, uh, so humans are this, 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 uh, genetic mixture that popped out literally naked and, and new, and we managed to figure out how to survive, and that's what happened with me. I mean, I'm kind of a, a parallel, like, almost proof of this theory. Um, no, my mom wasn't a, uh, primate, my father wasn't a pig, but... No, <laughs> anyway, no. Um, 
but uh, um, I was left to my own. I was not taught how to be human. I was taught how to be uh, uh, whatever people think is the prevailing thing of what you should be these days, you know, uh, based on Puritan ideals. Um, my father's side of the family had very Puritan ideals, I guess you could say. Um, and my mother's side, uh, the similar but different set of uh, Puritan values. And uh, neither one of them gave a shit about me, so I was left abandoned, but literally to my own. My whole family uh, hates me for some reason. I don't know. I, I think it has to do with the fact that my father is actually my father, but he wasn't my sibling's father. It was sibling's father, and he was abusive and an asshole, so I'm an asshole because he was. Anyway, I don't know. But anyway, I'm different. Um, genetically, uh, yeah, now I have evidence of genetic difference. I have a genetic condition that they should also have, but don't. I have um, recessive genes in both sides for HL5A or HL54 or some sh I can't remember. But it's the, the one for um, marking lipid soluble toxins from removal from your body and your bile cycle. I don't have it, so it doesn't happen. So, um, But they really shouldn't either, statistically speaking. They should at least be affected, not as bad as I am, but at least affected. Doesn't seem to be the case. So I don't think I'm really the cure. So that's why I'm highly empathetic and intelligent, and they're not. Um, that's the other similarity I have to human beings, is that I'm highly empathetic and intelligent. I've achieved my potential. I used to, I, I used to more believe that I was just like everyone else, but just achieved my potential, but now I'm starting to believe that I am maybe actually something more. Um, uh, not than most, just more than, well, not more than all, just more than most, you know, I'm, uh, you know, Viking, basically. Father race to the to the you know, father race to the white race to all white races you know uh, something like that you know uh, the whitest of the white if you will well, I don't believe in that shit by that shit you know they each have their potential it's you know uh, and they're each fucking domesticated so that's not the deal I'm not superior because I'm a certain race I'm literally superior because I'm a different species um, you know. It's, you know, a well, different breed, I guess. Um, but the fact is human beings are domesticated. And, you know, I don't like, don't like hearing that shit, but, you know, hey, sorry. I'm, this is talking about me, and you're you, and I'm different. And what makes me different is that I'm not like you. And I'm not like you in ways that you fucking hate and that piss you off. And I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm telling you who I am, and, you know, who I am pisses you off, so... Get pissed off. You're domesticated. Deal with it. I'm not. I have to deal with it. And I have to deal with you not understanding that I'm not like you because I'm not domesticated. I'm the real deal. I'm a human being. You know? Ugh. I go around through life trying to be as human as possible. I made a, a commitment when I was eight years old. Eight fucking years old. Okay? Sitting on a fucking playground crying with a fucking 108 fucking fever. And I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck is wrong with me? Why is everybody treating me like this? I'm out here fucking dying of this, this fucking, you know, in pain. Uh, this fucking migraine that I have from this 108 degree fever. You know, I'm sitting on the playground because, you know, nobody plays with me. Nobody wants to play with me, you know, whatever. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, well, I don't know why people treat me like this. I don't think they do anything wrong. So, okay, so I'll just not ever do anything that everyone ever deserves to treat me this or has reason to treat me bad. I'll just be as human as possible, as helpful as possible, wherever I can. I'll see as many people's perspective as I can. You know, instantly, eight years old, I achieved what uh, Lawrence Kohlberg describes as universal ethics. You know, eight years old, I'm the most mature 
uh, morally mature human being possible to be, uh, according to his his theories, which which you know, hope ring true, you know, very true. And uh, eight years old, you know. So, you know. But, um, so, so I'm different. And, but I don't entirely look different. Um, and people treat me like shit that way. You know, within the context of your society, socially, I'm completely and totally disabled. Permanently. I've suffered brain damage, and what happened affected memory, and it's difficult for you to understand, but long story short, someone can explain it to you, it's already proof, I've got all the evidence. Uh, it lost what is what you and understand is your personality or ego. I don't have the ability to interact with people in a pretense, in the ego form, in 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 that, in all that you know. You know, the only way you know how to interact with people, I can't do it. The only way I can, you don't understand, you don't know because it's natural human empathy, you know, body language. You know, I can essentially read it your mind uh, because I can read body language but you can't read mine because empathy is society despises empathy Entire, uh, acetaminophen for example is is works by reducing or eliminating empathy you know, if you even have it um, your society abhors it so much it raises children to be without it it's not something everyone has it has to be learned so how did I learn it in a family full of, of psychopaths? Well, I learned it with our closest natural cousins, wolves, and domesticated versions thereof. And, and there's first something for you to understand. I'm like a wolf, gee, that's the last name, and you're like dogs. Uh, no offense. Uh, you are domesticated. I am more wild. Uh, truth of the matter is you're more like various breeds of dogs, and I'm more like a Norwegian elk hound or something like that, mixed with a wolf, but there we are, you know, but I am different, I am not nearly as domesticated, I'm still partly there, uh, and I have issues that require me to be quote-unquote domesticated in a domicile, um, but, you know, I can't live entirely like a wolf, I have to take my home with me everywhere I go because I have to prepare my food certain ways. Actually, you know, no, because I want to do science and get off this planet. You know, I want to be self-sufficient. Completely self-sufficient. And and that's the other thing that, about me that people hate. You know, they, 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 you know, they make these presumptions and assumptions about me and they don't understand that I'm just self-sufficient. And that's all I want. And that brings me, which brings me to which should have been the first thing I saw you talked about, which is what people assume about what I want, what my agenda is. Uh, I I have an agenda, it's survival, and advancing that survival to the point of not needing anything, anything. You know, in other words, to be naked in space and survive is the ultimate goal. No, obviously I'm not going to be naked in space, but, uh, you know, bigger polar bear. No, anyway, um, so I'm working towards that, and, you know, being in space first, you know, you know, got to get that covered, you know, I'll work on the naked part, I guess, along the way, but, you know, getting into space, you know, but of course it requires surviving, and right now it requires surviving you, and that's the point of this message is, Leave me alone so I can survive. Let me do what I do so I can be what I am and not be you. You know, I'm not one of you. You're on a path that you've chosen or has been chosen for you and you can't change. And it's not my problem. It's not my fault. It's not my benefit. It's not anything. You know, I don't want anything from you. I, I've got what I need. I can take care of everything else myself. Just leave me the fuck alone. I'm not bothering you. 
And that is the point of this video. I'm not bothering you. I don't have an agenda to change the world, to save the world, to do anything of this sort. I'm not trying to tell everybody anything. I'm trying to tell the people like me where they can go, where they can come, to, and what they can do to live like we should. People like me, not people like you. This isn't, a, I'm, not, I'm not about you or your society. I don't want to participate. I don't care at all, except that you're kind of in the way. But, you know, there's a fuck of load of you. I can't do anything about it. You're going to pretty soon eliminate yourself from the equation anyway. So leave me alone. I'll leave you alone. You know, you want to self-destruct? Fine. I'll let yourself destruct. I'll figure out a way to survive. But leave me the fuck alone. You know, if you're not going to leave me alone, I'm not, I'm not going to leave you alone. If, if you're going to keep getting in my face, then I'm going to fucking get in your fucking face. I'm going to fucking tell you, so I can tell those like me that are among you, what's fucking wrong with you. And that you can't be fixed. And that those like me can. You know, the key is empathy. If you have it, great. If you don't, you never did. You're domesticated. Wolf bark, you know? You get your kibble and shut up. Leave us alone. You know, let us gnaw our fucking bones or whatever. You know, we're not fucking crazy. We're not fucking different. We're not deviants. We're not anything like you. You know, sorry to say, we're natural human beings. You're domesticated. You know, accept it, deal with it. You know, let's shake hands and agree to part ways peacefully. Or intermix peacefully. But, Jesus, leave us the fuck alone. My God, man. You know, God. Oh, by the way, you know us as the mentally ill. You know, there's a film out there that... that kind of advocates for us, um, or me, if I feel so fucking alone, but, uh, anyway, there's a film that advocates for us, and it's, um, unfortunately it's in Spanish, it was made in Argentina in the 80s, or 70s, and it's called Hombre Brando al Sudeste, Man Looking Southeast, or to the Southeast, um, it supposedly, uh, is what K-Pax is based on. Um, I agree with disagreeing with that. It's completely different. Um, but it's kind of along the same lines. Um, the plots are very similar. But what this movie says is that it's not the mentally ill that are mentally ill. It's society. And the mentally ill are just not able to deal with it. You know, there's a documentary, a BBC documentary uh, about dogs that they try and raise wolves. Um, in, a, in a home, and they, oh, we just, they can't. Well, pay attention to the fact that they can't raise wolves in someone's home, because they're not dogs. So, you tried to raise me in your home. I'm a wolf, not a dog. I, I don't play fetch. <laughs> I don't sit. I don't beg. I don't roll over. I don't take well to being groomed. <laughs> I don't eat what you feed. So, no, I didn't get along well, mom and dad and brothers and sisters. No, I didn't enjoy playing your games and, and watching your shows and playing with your toys and doing the things you do. That's just, I'm different, you know. And it's not that I'm, you know, so much that I'm wolf among humans, it's so much that I'm not domesticated human among humans, domesticated humans, so more like wolf among dogs, so, you know, anyway, um, 
Yeah, and along the way, I suffered brain damage. Like I said, the brain damage was beneficial because it took away that remaining part of me, that well, that part of me that was society, that domesticated part of me. I, I forgot how to be domesticated. And I remember making a conscious effort to learn. I remember actually before I moved to Idaho from Southern California, um, again, that uh, I wanted to try and be more social, but I couldn't do so in large crowds. So I was going to try and do the whole go to bars and socialize, whatever you do to socialize. I was going to try and be like you. And you know, a year later, I'm suffering brain damage and not able to. You know, I walked into a bar, the only way people look at me is if I'm in fucking wolf costume. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and I did that in Idaho. Potlatch. Was it Potlatch? Yeah, Potlatch. The manager, a woman, and uh, runs up to me and jumps in my arms and hugs me and, and more. And, uh, yeah. Anyway. That's the only way I got social acceptance, was putting on a fucking wolf costume, ironically. <coughs> so, after losing personality, I, it's the only way I could survive among you. And, um, in the meantime, I had to try and figure out how to survive, how to complete my goal of, of getting away from you and, and helping wolves, if I, if I could, which was my goal at that time. I wanted to be outside of the big cities, live in the country, live on a ranch, and help research with wolves. And uh, I suffered brain damage in the effort, and uh, lost the ability to interact with people at all, and couldn't complete those goals. Um, and I was easily going to get my um, Bachelor in Animal Science, my PhD, and my DBM. You know, not back to back either. You know, when DBM and PhD are going to work on simultaneously. Piece of cake, you know. But, uh, lost that ability and lost the ability to do, to do that. So, up until 2012, it took me to figure out what was really going on. Why, you know, why I didn't have this ability to interact with you, with society. And so here we are, and now... Everybody assumes I'm some fucking crazy person trying to change the world, and all I want to do is find people like me and go run away. But you won't leave me alone to do that. You think I'm some crazy... I don't know what the fuck you think of me. I don't care what you think of me anymore. Just leave me alone. Let me be me. Uh, you know, it, it, it's not an American experiment. It's not a Jewish experiment. It's not a, a fucking... Hindu experiment, a Chinese experiment, a fucking communist experiment, a socialist experiment, a capitalist experiment. It's nothing of that sort. It's a human experiment. You know, that's what we're all living. You're living your version of it. Let me live mine. Let people like me live it. You know, let us go off to the woods and run around naked and, and, and howl at the moon and, and eat whatever we eat and do whatever we do and and, and if we're going to fucking go crazy and die, fine. You don't want us polluting your society? Fucking let us alone. Don't watch. Don't look. You know, stop telling people they can't watch my videos. If they don't want to watch my videos, they're not going to watch my fucking videos. You know, fuck you, YouTube, and your fucking shadow ban. Fuck you. You know, let me find people like me. Let us watch and, and entertain each other. You know, that's what your platform was supposed to be for. Oh, we're going to uh, increase diversity. Blah, 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 blah. No, absolutely the opposite. You're trying to consolidate and conform everything. Every, you know, to your one way of doing things. And that's not how we do experiments. You know, we don't succeed on an experiment that we're inside and we don't know fucking anything about by doing one thing that one people tells us to do. We do it our own way, our different ways, and we leave each other the fuck alone in doing so. You know? 
you know, if, if you think there's a message I want to give to everyone, that's it. Leave everyone else alone to do what they want to do. It's a human experiment. Emphasis on experiment. We don't know what the fucking parameters are. We don't know what the fucking results are. We don't know anything. So nobody knows how to solve it. Nobody knows the answers. Except you. Yourself. Your individual self. The goal is survival. There is only one universal goal that everyone has. Survival. Okay? So, don't tell anyone else how to survive. If y'all think you're doing it right, then do it right. If someone comes along and does it differently, let them fucking do it differently. You know? What, oh, you're afraid they're going to use your resources? They're not your fucking resources. They're everyone. They belong to fucking everyone. You know, look at me. I'm not plugged into anything. The only thing I am is anchored to the ocean floor near one of your cities because I can't fucking do anything else because you destroyed my ability to be independent. Yes, you actively destroyed my inability, my ability to be self-sufficient. Destroyed my fucking ship. Robbed me. Oh, no, you didn't do it yourself? Yeah, but you're letting everyone get away with doing it who did it, and that's wrong in your own society. In your own rules, in your own context. You fucked me to try and keep me from being what I want to be. You know? Just leave me the fuck alone. You know, and, and FBI, CIA, NSA, TLA, whoever you are, um, TLA being three letter acronym, um, leave me the fuck alone. Especially you, FBI. Leave me the fuck alone. Well, I'm doing you a fucking favor. Hello? Oh, oh, he's a dissident. Oh, he's just trying to spread this message to, to, uh, yeah, other dissidents. So that they too will leave you the fuck alone. Duh. Doing you a favor. Oh, well, we want to, we want to do it this way. Yeah, your one singular way of doing things that's done how much good so far? You know, I just watched a, a film, uh, American History X. There's only one fucking thing from that film that I took that, 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 that you, anyone should take. And that's, um, he, the Sweeney asks, asks the, uh, the, the, the supposed main character, um, Edward Furlong's character is the actual main character. Um, but, uh, Sweeney asks, uh, Norton's character, um, has anything you've done made your life better? Has anything, the FBI, you folks, TLAs, has, has anything you've done to me made life better for anyone, anywhere? Oh, you've gotten some entertainment. Thanks. How has that made your life better? It's made passing time easier. Are you sure? It made those moments easier to pass. That, oh, so it made it easier to waste time. I see. So it was a very bad thing. <laughs> okay. You see what I mean? No. You have your ways, I have mine. My ways do not interfere with yours. They benefit you because I want to take them away from you. That's all. You know, or I want them to otherwise leave and go out on their own, like I am. That's all. I don't want everyone to do it. Not everyone can. Only a very, very few can. It's like a handful on the planet. Oh. You know, I just want the very few that can and want to to follow me so that I don't have to do it alone because guess what? We're not supposed to. Yeah, the other thing won't tire. You pack. So, who am I? Nobody to be nobody you should be concerned with. Nobody you need to fear. Nobody you even need to respect more than leaving me the fuck alone. And either ignoring me or brushing me off with something you don't agree with. That's it. 
Give it an experiment. Diversity. Do it right. Do it right. Not your way. Do it right. Thank you.